Let's talk about photorespiration. Photorespiration occurs when oxygen is taken up by rubisco instead of carbon dioxide. Remember that the enzyme rubisco normally takes up CO2 in the Calvin cycle and produces glucose. These reactions are basically how a plant takes in carbon and produces glucose. Photorespiration occurs when oxygen is taken up by rubisco instead of carbon dioxide. And I know it doesn't sound like that big of a problem, but it is. Instead of a plant taking in carbon dioxide, photorespiration will occur when plants give off carbon dioxide. And that is horrible for a plant because it's not taking in carbon and now it's producing carbon. Plants want to take in carbon and produce glucose. However, during photorespiration, plants can't take this CO2 in because they're such low levels. And you might ask, why do plants have low levels of CO2? So remember that plants also have these structures on the underside of leaves called stomata. Stomata allow CO2 in, and the stomata also allow water and oxygen to leave. When it's hot outside, the plants will close these stomata to prevent water loss. But if a plant closes its stomata for too long, oxygen levels will rise and CO2 levels will go down. That's because the plant's using up that CO2 to make glucose. So the plant's trying to prevent water loss by closing its stomata. However, it's not allowing CO2 in. And again, CO2 is needed by rubisco to make that glucose. And if rubisco doesn't have carbon dioxide to react with, it's going to react with oxygen instead. And again, this is bad for a plant because instead of intaking CO2, it's going to let out CO2. And a plant can't make glucose if it's not taking CO2 in and producing and letting CO2 out. The reason why some plants go through photorespiration is because when photosynthesis first evolved, oxygen levels were very low. So rubisco didn't need to be selective for CO2 or oxygen because it didn't hurt them at that time because there were such low levels of oxygen. Now the atmosphere has a lot more oxygen and this is a problem for plants. So you might ask, how have plants adapted to this photorespiration? Well, in hotter environments, plants have evolved two different pathways. These pathways are known as C4 plants and CAM plants.